I wouldn't be who I am right now. So for every mountain he's brought me over, for every valley he's ever seen me through, you ought to thank God for what should have been a curse. It's now a blessing. You might have got fired from a job, but you ought to thank God. When you got fired, you found something else. You got evicted from that place, but God found you somewhere else. You might have got dumped by somebody, and they're not an ex, they're not a Y. Why was I dating them in the first place? You ought to thank God for what should have been a curse. It's now a blessing. Amen. God has the unusual tenacity to turn curses into blessings. Amen. Things that were supposed to be bad ended up being good. For the Bible says that all things works together for the good of them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. My dear friends, because Balaam could not curse the children of God, he thought he could seduce them. Because the Lord would not allow him to curse the children of God, he thought he could send somebody from the enemy's camp to seduce them. I want to say this to you, that when the enemy cannot get your spirit, he will then try to contaminate your body. Because he thinks if he can get a hold of your body, he then can control your spirit. And I'm talking to somebody who had to deal with somebody who was a control freak. They wouldn't know where you was, where you gone, and where you been. But you ought to thank God that he did not give them the authority to control your spirit. Because when you look back over the situation, you say, with or without you, I still got it going on. Because if God be for me, who can be against me? What is most important? Your promise or your desire? And I'm going to get to that meaning and if you don't understand where that topic comes from. We sent to seduce them Moabite women. And the Moabites and Israelites are not exchanged, nor are they distant, but they are related. Because the Moabites and Israelites come from the same bloodline of Terah. And Terah was, in fact, the father of Abraham, who is the father of faith. And that says this right here to me, just because you have faith don't mean you ain't going to go through some things. Or the person next to you going to act like they don't have no problems in their life, but all of us are going through something right now. It might not be the same thing. It might be somebody going through a money problem or a child problem, but all of us are going through something. But if we was to learn to focus on God and stop focusing on our problem, we'll see that it'll be alright in the morning. Amen. But he said to them more by women, and the Israelites entered it into themselves. That word Israelite translates to mean promise. Everybody say promise. promise. In other words, if you are a child of God, there is a promise over your life. A promise means I don't have it, but I am working towards it. A promise means that there is a dream and I am waiting on the manifestation. Children of God are children of a promise. And sister, Ever, the only thing that keeps you coming to church, in spite of what it is that you are going through, is God told you something, and you're holding on to the promise. So when I'm shouting, I don't need nobody putting no circle around me. I don't even need you asking me, I'm okay. I'm shouting because I'm waiting on the promise. But even while I'm waiting, I'm giving God the glory because I can't wait to the battle of God. I gotta shout right now. God help me try to build it. I know you ain't got it. Shout over what you promised. If you promised you something. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 If you promised you something. Yeah. Yeah. Israelites mean promise. But Moab or Moabite means or translates to mean desire. Baby, this is where we find our problem. They are children of God going to sleep with their desire. Have you ever thought about just maybe the person you are dealing with 
are in contact with the most that's been sent by the enemy. Have you ever thought about just maybe that person is not in your life for a lifetime commitment? Because when you look at the things that they are doing, you're always finding or catching them not telling the truth. Amen. So in other words, you dealing with the devil's child. Because the Bible says the devil is the father of lies. So if you dealing with somebody that don't do nothing but lie, you're dealing with the devil child. And, and it's a hard thing when what it is that God wants for us differs from what we want for ourselves. Amen. It, it's a hard thing when we want God to bless us right now, but God don't do it. And we don't know how to accept it. But if we can't manage or handle what he has already given us, God know in due time that he will bless us because we have to be patient. Amen. Amen. What is most important, your promise or your desire? Uh -huh. God promised us something. He said he'll never leave us nor forsake us. God promised us, real, that yea, though I walk through the valleys of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil. God promised us some. They that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. They shall not up with wings as an eagle. Run and not get weary. Walk and not faint. God promised us some. God said, if I be for you, who can be against you? Greater is he that lives within me than he that is in the world. God promised us some. He said, ask and it shall be given. Not in the throat shall be heard. See and you shall find. What is most important? Your promise or your desire? Now, all of us are dealing with some things that we want in life, but is it good for us? There's only one thing that I've learned in life that has been good and all good for me. Jesus. And that has been Jesus. Yes, sir. He's been better to me than I ever been to myself. Yes, Even at times when I wanted to give up on myself, he said, hold on just a little while longer. Yes. Everything is going to be all right. Yes. We can't man do it for a night. But joy comes in the morning. Yes. What is most important? Yes. Your promise or your desire. I desire to have many things, but God know I can't handle it. So he said, wait. Upon the Lord. I give it to you as long as you wait. Because he's a reward to them that diligently seek him. Amen. What is most important? Thank you, Lord. I told you I wanted to be with you too long. Yes, sir. Come on, man. 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 But we need to figure out today what is most important. Yeah. Our Word promise or our desire. Yeah. I'm seeing God face from this day forward. Yeah. It took a lot of pain for me to get to the point of where I am right now. But I thank God for the traveling mercies that he gave me. I thank God for them two twins that he called grace and mercy. Because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be where I am right now. If it wasn't for grace and mercy, I wouldn't be able to stand in front of you Boldly and say, I love the Lord. Yes. And he heard my oh, cry. Yes. 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 I want the Lord to walk with me. Yes. There's an old song I remember I used to hear my grandmama say when we stayed on Santa Monica, walk with me, Lord. Yes. Walk with me, Lord. I don't remember the words, but I remember well, just those couple of church. words right there. And I want the Lord to stay with me because even when I want to stop, the Lord is still walking. Yeah. And you can remember the sign on the picture when it said when we were traveling, there was two footprints. And when I only seen one footprint, that's when the God would carry us. And yeah. God will lift us up this morning only if we just stay with Him this yeah. morning. Regardless yeah. of what it is that we are going through. There's nothing too great for our God. There's nothing too small for him. He said, even when we're in a valley of degradation, 
He'll pick us up and bring us up to that mountaintop of hope. Yeah. He will never leave us in a place where he won't come back and get us. Yeah. You ask Daniel in the lion den. Oh, yeah. Daniel did not fall down and bow down and start praying to the idol God. But Daniel said, for God I live oh, yeah. and for God I will die. Yeah. Blessed be the name of Jesus this yeah. morning. Yes, Amen. Yes, Amen. What is most yeah. important Thank this morning? All right. Can't give it to Pastor now because I'm through. We don't take you that long, and I said I'm gonna be up here that long, and I'm gonna get straight to the point. But what is most important? Your promise and your desire. Thank you. Amen. We can move right along.